amino acids. Plan of the lecture. Fate of amino acid nitrogen, synthesis of amino acids, and degradation of amino acids. Fate of amino acid nitrogen. In the fat state, amino acids are released by digestion of dietary proteins travel through the hepatic portal vein to the liver, where they are used for the synthesis of proteins, particularly the blood proteins, such as serum albumin. The carbon skeletons of excess amino acids are converted to glucose or triglycerols. The latter are then packaged and secreted into very low density lipoproteins. The glucose produced from amino acids in the fat state is stored as glycogen or released into the blood if blood glucose levels are low. Amino acids that pass through the liver are converted to the proteins in the cells or other tissues. During fasting, amino acids are released from muscle protein. Some enter the blood directly, others are partially oxidized and the nitrogen is stored in the form of alanine and glutamine, which enter the blood. In the kidney, glutamine releases ammonia into the urine and is converted to alanine and serine. In the cells of the gut, Glutamine is converted to alanine. Alanine, the major glucogenic amino acid, and other amino acids enter the liver where they, their nitrogen is converted to urea, which is excreted in the urine and the carbons are converted to glucose and the ketone bodies, which are oxidized by various, various tissues for energy. Transamination is the major process for the removing nitrogen from amino acids. In most instances, the nitrogen is transferred as an amino group from the original amino acid to alpha catagluterate forming glutamate, whereas the original amino acid is converted to its corresponding alpha catac acid. For example, the amino acid aspartate can be transaminated to form its corresponding alpha cata acid acetate and the process the amino group is transferred to alpha catagluterate which has converted to its corresponding amino acid glutamate all amino acid except lysine and threonine have the ability to undergo transamination reactions the enzymes that catalyze these reactions are known as transaminases or aminotransferases for most of these reactions, alpha catagluterate and glutamate serve as one of their alpha cata acid amino acid pairs. Pertoxalphosphate is the required cofactor for these reactions. Pertoxalphosphate is derived from vitamin B6 pyridoxine. All of the reactions are irreversible except that of glutamate dehydrogenase. Only their the dehydratase reactions, which produce ammonia formed serine and threonine, require pyridoxalphosphate as a cofactor. The reactions that are not shown occur occurring in the muscles or the gut can all occur in the liver, where the ammonium generated can be converted to urea. Synthesis of amino acids. The carbons of 10 amino acids may be produced from glucose through intermediates of glycolysis or the tricarboxylic acid cycle. The 11th non-essential amino acid tyrosine is synthesized by hydroxylation of the essential amino acid phenylalanine. Only the sulfur of cysteine comes from the essential amino acid methionine. Its carbon and nitrogen come from serine. Transamination reactions involve paradoxal phosphate and another amino acid, alpha cata acid pair. Four amino acids are synthesized from intermediates of glycolysis serine, glycine, cysteine, and alanine. Uh, serine, which produces uh, glycine and cysteine, is synthesized from free phosphoglycerate, and alanine is formed by transamination of pyruvate, the product of the glycolysis. When these amino acids are degraded, their carbon atoms are converted to pyruvate or to intermediates of the glycolytic 
look at a gene genetic pathway and therefore can produce glucose or be oxidized to CO2. Aspartate can be derived from oxalacetate by transamination. Asparagine is produced from aspartate by amination. Glutamate is derived from alpha-catagulturate by the addition of ammonium ion by the glutamate dehydrogenase reaction or by transamination. Glutamine is produced by the amination of glutamate. Proline and arginine can be derived from glutamate semialdehyde which is formed by the reduction of glutamate. Proline can be produced by the cyclization of glutamate semialdehyde. Arginine via free reactions of urea cycle can be derived from arnitine, which is produced by the transamination of glutamate semialdehyde. Tyrosine is the 11th non-essential amino acid, is synthesized by the hydroxylation of the essential amino acid phenylalanine in a reaction that requires tetrahydrobiopterine. Degradation of amino acids Amino acids that produce pyruvate are considered glucogenic because they can produce glucose in liver. Their fumarate group of amino acids produces cytoplasmic fumarate. Amino acids that produce acetylcoenzyme A or ketone bodies, these amino acids are considered ketogenic. The amino acids that are synthesized from the intermediates of glucose, serine, glycine, cysteine, and alanine, are degraded to form pyruvate. Serine is converted to 2-phosphoglycerate and intermediate of glycolysis. Glycine is a reversal of the reaction utilized for its synthesis, reacts with methylene tetrahydrofolate to form serine. Uh, cysteine forms pyruvate, it's sulfur, which uh, was derived from methionine is converted to H2SO4, which is excreted by the kidneys. Alanine can be transaminated to pyruvate. Uh, the carbons from the four groups of amino acids from the tricarboxylic acid cycle intermediates alpha catagulturate, succinyl coenzyme A, fumarate, and oxalacetate. The glutamate can be deaminated by glutamate dehydrogenase or transaminated to form alpha catagulturate. Glutamine is converted by glutaminase to glutamate, which is a release, which uh, with the release of its um, emit nitrogen as ammonium. Proline is oxidized so that its ring opens, forming glutamate semialdehyde, which is oxidized to glutamate. Arginine is cleaved by arginase in the liver to form urea and arnitine. Arnitine is transaminated to glutamate semialdehyde, which is oxidized to glutamate. Histidine is converted to form aminoglutamate, Cysteine is synthesized from the carbons and nitrogen of serine and the sulfur of homocysteine. During the degradation of cysteine, the sulfur is converted to sulfate and either excreted in the urine or converted to universal sulfate donor. And uh, there, it's, uh, it's a free uh, phosphodenazine 5 phosphosulfate and the uh, carbons are converted to pyruvate. Four amino acids are converted to propionyl coenzyme A, which is carboxylated in a biotene requiring reaction to form methyl malonyl coenzyme A, which is rearranged to form succinyl coenzyme A in the reaction that requires vitamin B12. The tranine is converted by uh, hydratase to ammonium ion and alpha catabutyrate, which is oxidatively decarboxylated to propionyl coenzyme A. Methionine provides methyl groups for the synthesis of various compounds. Its sulfur is incorporated into cysteine and the remaining carbon carbons form succinyl coenzyme A. Valine and isolecine, uh, two of the three branched chain amino acids form succinyl coenzyme A. Valine is eventually converted to succinyl coenzyme A via propionyl coenzyme A and methylmalonyl coenzyme A. Isolecine also forms succinyl coenzyme A after two of its carbon are released as acetyl coenzyme A. Ketogenic amino acids 
tryptophan, phenylalanine, and tyrosine also contain carbons that can form glucose. Tyrosine and um, lysine are strictly ketogenic. They don't form glucose.